2011, Abby and Bridget and four other classmates would be seated into two rows of three for a group picture as shown. If the seating positions are randomly assigned, what is the probability that Abby and Bridget are adjacent to each other in the same row or same column? So let's just solve it like directly. So to do that, let's have x, x, x. We will have x, x, and x. These represent the possible seating positions. Now, what is the definition of a probability in the first place? The probability is equal to the number of successes over the number of total possibilities. So how many total possibilities are there? Well, that just basically means in this context, the total ways to seat two people within the seating arrangement. Well, that's not too bad, right? Because this is just going to be six pick two. Because we have six positions and we need to pick two positions um, without replacement, or with replacement rather, to um, assign the seating chart for these people. So six pick two would be a total co possible combination. That's six times five divided by two, which gives you 15. So there are a total of 15 ways to seat two people within the six seating positions as shown. Now, what about the total number of successes, right? They have to be in the same row or column. So how many ways are there? Well, if I have a row, right, I can only have this possible pairing or this possible pairing, but then I have two rows. So for a row, right, I have four possible um, arrangements, which is one, two, three, and four, right? But then remember, we do not care. Let's say this is Abby, that's Bridget, right? We consider Abby and Bridget to be in this arrangement to be the same as B and A, right? And the reason why we're doing this is because remember, the probability that Abby and Bridget are adjacent. We don't really care about, you know, how they're adjacent. We only care about if they're adjacent in the first place. So a and B and B and A, swapping them would still result in the same case. That's why you only have four and not eight. So now let's move on to columns. Well, for columns, right, we have three, so we have one, two, and three. So for the columns, we have three possible combinations. The sum of them gives us a total possible valid combinations. So if we have seven successes over 15, that must be answer choice C.